Hi everyone, I'm Jenners and it's time to cruise. In today's video, I would like to talk to you about how I pack my toiletries, my first aid items, my makeup, and a little bit of jewelry. And if you would like to see some more videos, I'll be making plenty more on packing tips and cruise reviews. So please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe so you can become one of my time travelers. So the first thing I'd like to talk to you about is planning to pack for a cruise when you're uh, planning your toiletry items. So the first thing I always do is I make a list and I've been on 16 cruises so my list is pretty extensive and I just keep it saved on my computer and every cruise that I go on I just alter it a little bit so every cruise you go to different ports or you might have different activities planned and so you're going to have different things that you'll need to take. So I always recommend making a list and as you can see there I had a lot of notes. So the first thing I did want to talk about is items that you might want to bring to set up your cabin. And so all the packing items I'm showing you today are from HSN. They're the Joy Mangano Better Beauty cases. There's several different sizes that you can get and this one here I believe is a small. They come in medium large and some of them that come with this size, I believe this is actually an extra large but it comes with some that are a little bit smaller than this and they're laid out um, in four of these um, on here that you can actually take off. They have Velcro and so I find that really nice because if I just want to take one of those with me or if I want to go on an excursion and just take one of those uh, cubes then I can easily just take it off. These hang and so for this size or anything maybe this size or if there's a smaller one I would just pack it in my luggage just like this but the larger ones I will just take each individual one off and what's nice about these is that you can actually flip them over when you're packing. So I use packing cubes from e-bags, and so I find that as I pack the packing cubes, in the middle of each packing cube, I can lay this down upside down. Uh, make sure you don't have anything that's going to leak. And then this is nice and flat to lay other things on top, so that way um, you're making sure that you have the most space possible inside your luggage. What I also like to do is I will label these, and not all of them have labels. Some of the labels fell off or some of them are kind of obvious of, of what's inside, but I like to make a label. You could use a label maker or just get those little stickers from the dollar store and you can label uh, each one. So the first thing here is how do I make up my cabin? So I have some items in here that I keep inside a backpack that I carry onto the ship with me. So I already have it with me. As soon as I get into my room, I have these items. So I want to go over a couple of them with you. This here is just a magnet that I put on my door because every door looks alike and when you're on a ship like the Harmony of the Seas, when it's the largest ship in the world, um, you will want to differentiate your cabin from someone else. I also have Lysol wipes. The first thing that I do when I get into my cabin is I wipe everything down, including the door handles. I wipe down all surfaces, the phones, um, everything in the bathroom, you know, anything that you're going to touch, the remote control everything. And another thing that I bring, and I do not bring this entire thing here, um, I got this off of Amazon. This was a tip from Cruise Tips TV. So if you found me, I hope you found Cruise Tips TV because they are my absolute favorite when it comes to cruising tips. So make sure that you check them out um, on their channel. But they always recommend bringing these wipes. And these um, here are Clorox Healthcare Hydrogen Peroxide cleaner disinfectant wipes. That was a mouthful there, but the reason that these are really great is because they claim that they kill the neurovirus. I'll just take out maybe 10 wipes and I'll put it in a plastic baggie and I'll put it inside here. So um, here I have some straws. So some um, cruise lines are getting rid of straws or you can ask and they will still give you a straw, but I like to bring uh, plastic straws. I got these from Etsy and you also can bring something to clean the straw with. I also have kind of a metal straw, so um, a lot of times, you know, cruise ships, um, they will still give you the plastic straw, but I just like to be thoughtful and, you know, mindful of, of the fact that we're on the ocean, and I wouldn't want to use a plastic straw that might end up in the ocean, so I, I've ordered these from Etsy as well. They have anchors on them, and they are just paper straws, so I like to bring something like that. Another thing that I bring um, to make up my cabin when I first go in is just some tissues. I like to put them in the bathroom and also at my nightstand. I just like to have my own tissues. And also these are just on the toilet flushable wipes to keep in the bathroom. Along those lines too, we have poopery. I think most people are familiar with that, but it's, it's a nice before you go spray and it just makes everything smell a little bit nicer, especially when you're sharing a cabin, it's a small space. Um, so I do highly recommend um, it's one of my probably top 10 things to bring is poopery. 
I have a little light here and I have this tape that I bought also on Etsy. It just has little anchors on it. And so on um, this tape, I think it's called washi tape and I could be wrong on the, the saying of that, but you can literally just peel it off and stick it right back on. So it stays stick. It's not really sticky. It just helps you stick stuff. If that makes sense. So I have a little light and that's if, you know, somebody has to get up in the nighttime to go to the bathroom or something like that. I put that in the bathroom. And then I also have, um, this little bag is obviously from Sephora, but anytime I get a little plastic bag of any kind like this, I try to save it so that I can use it again. I just have these little containers and I also put some of that tape just in case it, it leaks or anything like that. I always say anything that's liquid, I always recommend putting it in another, you know, maybe plastic bag just so that it doesn't leak all over your stuff. I've had that happen. Um, this is liquid soap. I don't like to use the bar soap. And so uh, this was probably just a little thing of hand sanitizer that was empty. So I always save things like that because they're little and they're reusable. So, and I need to refill this, but that is liquid soap that we use um, to wash our hands in our cabin. This is dish soap. And so again, that, you know, it's an old container from Bath and Body Works. It used to be hand sanitizer. I rinsed it out really well. And so I put um, some liquid soap. I bring my own cups with me. And so again, I don't always use them all the time. Sometimes I forget I have them, but it's good if, if you have something like that that you just want to like reuse to have um, some soap to reuse those kinds of things. Um, another thing I like to bring to set up my cabin is I got these on Amazon. These are magnets. Now most cabins, uh, most cruise ships have walls that are magnetic. Your doors are magnetic, your walls are magnetic. So you can put something like this where you can maybe hang your itinerary or um, the cruise gives you, you know, something that tells you what's going on during the day. So you can clip those. And I also have a whole bunch of these little hooks. These are really strong too. They're all stuck to each other. I can't even, <laughs> let me just show you all of them. They're all stuck together. Um, but yeah, little hooks like this that you can put on the wall and I've hung hats on them, my cruise ship card, just stuff like that. Um, you know, if you have one of those robes, you can hang it up. So, um, you can put those all over the cabin and use those. So I set up the room like that. I also recommend getting a travel clock. Now this one is something that I have to plug in, but what I liked about this is that it would be across the room for me and I could still see the screen without having to completely wake up, touch a button for it to light up and now I'm awake. That's just how I am. But um, this one does plug in. Cruise ships don't always have a lot of plugs, but this is just something I recommend whether you get a battery operated one or something you can plug in. So um, I also got this from Amazon. If I can link um, some of these items I'm talking about today, I will link below so you can find them too. The next item here I have labeled as shower and shower stuff. So anything that you need for your shower, um, like a loofah I got from the dollar store, you know, anything that you might even just put in the bathroom. I have deodorant for my husband and I. So most of the stuff is mine, but a couple things are his. He usually uses my stuff. Um, if you have any razors, I like to put just a hair clip over it so it doesn't, you know, cut anything. So I have a razor. I always recommend bringing just a small uh, tube of toothpaste. This definitely got us through on our eight night cruise. That was just fine. I also have a small little container of mouthwash and I put it in another baggie just in case it leaks. I also have toothpicks, but I like these squeezable tubes here. I think I got this from maybe TJ Maxx or something like that, Amazon. And I use Wen and so I, I have a huge, huge bottle of Wen um, and I put inside this this tube here. So usually if it's a three or four night cruise, one is good. If it is longer than that, then I actually bring two and maybe I'll do two different scents. So I have my shampoo or my wen in there. And then I also brought just a little raspberry sorbet that's from Philosophy. It's a teeny tiny one that I got at Ulta. It was like a dollar. And so that, you know, definitely lasted. Um, this did spill. And so luckily it was in the plastic bag. Um, so that just all goes in the shower. I used to bring something that I hung in the shower and I just put everything inside little pockets, but I found I didn't necessarily need that. So I stopped bringing those. That was my shower stuff. And then also, if you ever go to a hotel or something like that, you know, just grab the, you know, the thing for your hair, the shower cap. Um, I find that sometimes my hair is clean, but I might want to take a shower before dinner. And so if I don't want my hair to get wet, I'll just put the shower cap on. Or sometimes this is nice too if things are leaking or maybe you want to put your shoes inside a shower cap. So these can be used for many different uses. And then the next thing that we are going to take a look at is hair stuff. 
and I don't have it labeled because sometimes the labels do fall off, but um, most of this is hair stuff. I actually have my makeup brush here. I'm going to show you that in just a minute, but um, anytime that I'm going to the beach or if I'm going somewhere on the ship, I just like to have a little brush with a mirror on it, and then I have my husband's hair gel. So I always like these little containers to put uh, things like hair gel. I have like a styling cream for me, so it's just nice to have like little tiny things to keep those in. I'm pretty sure uh, my Sephora Play one month I got this kind of like a hairspray. Um, so I have that, and I have my Wen Coconut Lime Verbena, which is my favorite scent. I get these from either QVC or sometimes just eBay has a, a good price. So I love these to spray on my hair. It's not sticky. It actually just conditions your hair, and it just makes it really soft and kind of refreshes it if you have been out kind of running around during the day and, and sweating and at the beach. I have another hair clip and I do keep one in the shower because um, I'll put it, I'll clip my hair up in the shower as well. First day, and I showed you this in uh, one of my vlogs that I talked about what I wore on the Harmony of the Seas, I just like to, the first day I bring something to clip in my hair that's pretty and bright and it's something that I can easily clip out. Um, you know, later on in the day, but the first day I always have some fun color in my hair. I got these from eBay, and then I also have just little um, clear um, elastics so that a lot of times I'll braid my hair with those colored things, and that way I'll just use one of those elastics. And then continuing on with hair stuff. Now this is an eBags packing cube, so I have quite a few of these as well, and I did also label, the, label them with just little stickers. So what I have in here um, if, if you're bringing a curling iron or something like that, but I have my InStyler, so this is, you know, my hair really doesn't curl, and so I found that the InStyler just kind of makes it wavy at the ends, and so I brought that with me on my last cruise. I also have um, some fun little, I don't know if you can see that very well, but they're just little tattoos and things that you can, you know, put on temporarily, and I have a lot of them that have, you know, anchors and things like that, so um, I like to play around with those a little bit when I'm on a cruise, because again, you know, it's it's stuff that you don't do on your, in your normal day life, so, you know, go ahead and put colored hair in and, you know, have a fancy tattoo. Um, some of the things I have in this as well is, if you can see, I have these stamps, so I have an anchor stamp and I have a ship wheel stamp, so what it is is you, um, you kind of put like this glue on your skin and then you put glitter over it and so you basically have like a glitter stamp. Uh, these are from, I believe they're called GEMS, G-E-M-S. If I can figure out the full name of the website, I'll kind of put a, a link above or below or somewhere. But um, those are just things I like to have fun with on a cruise. And then some of the jewelry I brought, and I have unpacked a little bit since, but um, I have like these little tiny containers and so I have, this is a ring I actually bought in I think Mexico or somewhere on a different cruise. This one's empty, but um, I use those bath bombs that have the rings inside them. So when the, the rings come out, they come in like these little, um, just little round things. So I used to bring this big, huge thing that I would put all my jewelry and I used to just way over pack on jewelry. So now I've just learned to be a little bit more mindful in the jewelry I'm bringing. I don't want to bring anything too expensive if I were to lose it. I will plan ahead of time, what am I going to wear, especially for the fancy dinners, and then I'll, I'll sort of pair my jewelry. So um, there was one night I wore something red, so I have a red ring. Um, I have one of these fun, kind of glowy, blinky rings that you get at some of the, the dance parties I do, at least in a Royal Caribbean. A lot of times they throw these out in the audience, so I've had that one for quite a while. And I also have you know, little bags like this and everything fell out, but if you have these, they're really nice just to kind of keep your jewelry separated. I had kind of a nautical, you know, star, starfish here, um, really pretty gold chain necklace. I also had a pair of red earrings that I wore. My husband wore a red shirt, and I have some cool ship wheel, wheel earrings. Now, I don't have in here, I had a really pretty um, diamondique bracelet and diamondique earrings that I got from QVC um, that I wore kind of with some of my fancy outfits. So all I did was just pack this little tiny drawstring pouch. Most of my jewelry fit in there quite nicely and then I just packed it in a packing cube. So you might have something, um, you know, more of a jewelry case, which I used to use. Um, in fact, my FabFitFun, if you've watched that last video that I did for December, I did get a nice case for jewelry. So I might actually see if I can take that with me next time. So definitely check out my video for that. So I want to show you what is in my first aid kit. So I have one of these first aid um, zip pouches 
And the first thing that I have in here, um, this is from the dollar store. I don't recommend getting one of these from the dollar store because these are really hard to open, but I've labeled each one. And these are just vitamins and you know Advil and things like that that um, we have just in case. Sometimes you want to bring um, certain types of medication just in case you get sick because if you have to buy uh, cold medication or anything like that on the ship, then it's going to be a lot more expensive than if you get it at home. I got Prelief, and this is something that I take um, a couple tablets before I eat, and it just helps because you know, on cruises you're eating a lot so I got this from Amazon and it definitely helps quite a bit so I would recommend that. Um, Dramamine, um, this is the non-drowsy kind, I got it from Target. I really didn't have a problem on the Harmony of the Seas, it was such a large ship but I've been on smaller ships where I have gotten um, seasick and also because I like to go um, scuba diving that anytime I go scuba diving I have to take some kind of Dramamine because when the, the boat's rocking <laughs> um, that definitely um, something you just have to be mindful of. So I, I do always bring the Dramamine. I don't always use it. Um, in here also, let's see if I can get this a little bit closer. Um, so we have eye drops. We have hand sanitizer. We have some Neosporin. I have some Tums. And I have um, one of those little toothbrush things. And then also in the other pouch, this is something that you can rest your hand on like when you're you know, typing. So it's really kind of like a wrist rest. But um, if you put it in the in the refrigerator, it kind of cools off. And so if you have a headache, you can use it um, if you have a headache or you know, your muscles are sore or something like that. So I haven't had to use it yet, but I did bring it with me. I also have um, some anti-itch cream that's from the dollar store. I have a Tide pen. So we tend to be messy when we eat. I also have a nail file. So, you know, I always get my nails done, but if, if you break a nail or something and then I also always bring tweezers, I bring nail clippers, and then in here I do have just some smaller things of like Advil, um, you know, some ointment, some uh, cough drops, just things like that. Band-Aids, of course, obviously you want to bring Band-Aids. Next one I have labeled face care, and most of these items are going to be in the bathroom, and I just keep them in, in this uh, case. So every night when I get back, I'm always really tired, but I still need to wash the makeup off my face. So I have a couple different things that I use to do that. Most of these are from Target and I just get these little cotton face pads. I also have some cotton balls and I also have um, some Q-tips, which I will use the Q-tips um, just to kind of get the makeup from right around my eyes because a lot of times that doesn't always come off. So I bring as many of those as I think I'm going to need. And I also use the Micellar Water. So this little tiny one, I believe I had purchased um, just once the target um, you know target box for the month I think it's like five or six dollars and this came in it and so I did purchase a really big one after that and so I just fill this one up um, I do think it's filled because there's like nothing in it <laughs> so that's why I always do recommend to make sure that you have um, things that can spill in another plastic container or like a plastic baggie but I just bring very very small um, to wash my face I also have a small travel size of tart um, which is their um, one step camellia cleansing oil so that is a travel size so that is something that I got from I believe QVC and you put it on your dry hands and on your dry face and you kind of massage it in and then you like wet it and wipe it off and usually that takes up off your makeup pretty well I also have a small container that I just have um, labeled um, makeup, I think it said remover at one point, but I know that I have Purity Made Simple from Philosophy in here, which is always my go-to to remove makeup as well. So um, there was a time that I, I think I went on a seven night cruise and I didn't quite have enough. I think I had something even smaller than this. So it's always just good to make sure, depending on how long your cruise is, that you have enough of whatever product that you need for that cruise. I also have in this little teeny tiny container here, it's labeled oil. Um, I use When Oil. And it comes in like a little dropper and you put it in your hair and it's supposed to be really good for your scalp. Well, it's also good for your skin. And I tend to get really dry skin, especially if I'm in the salt water, if I'm scuba diving, I get really dry skin around on my chin area. So this, this oil um, from when I just kind of dab it on those spots that are dry and it really helps quite a bit. We also have some shaving cream in a travel size and I also have a small travel size of the coconut water cream from Hello Fab. I also think I got that from my Sephora Play. So another reason I love Sephora Play, you don't always get stuff you like, but you do get a lot of great travel size items. And then also from Sephora, Sephora Play, I got this, um, it's, it was a moisturizer, but I used it. And so I labeled it eye. So this is an eye cream now. And so I just put, you know, just a little bit of eye cream of what I like to use in there. So I would have just a small um, amount of eye cream. 
I also have another one of these small containers and that is my when body cream which is also amazing if you have dry skin and it comes in different scents it is extremely expensive but it comes in a big huge tub of it and you get it on QVC or I'm sure eBay has it too um, Sephora play once again I have this title uh, face cream that I really like and I also have Bare Minerals Blemish Therapy. I don't break out very often, but sometimes when I'm in salt water, it does make me break out. So I just bring um, this just in case I have any breakouts. I also have one of these little, um, kind of little like spoon things to scoop out. When you have little small containers like that, it's, it's so much easier to use something like that than stick your finger in it, and it's also more sanitary. Um, I have a little tiny spray bottle, um, and I labeled it Tatcha. Tatcha has, um, kind of like a spray, almost like a kind of creamy spray that you can spray on your face and it just helps to moisturize and just, just make it feel really nice. So if you're, again, at the beach or you just need a little freshen up, if you spray a little bit on, um, it's really nice. And I have it in a plastic baggie because it is something that could leak. Um, I also have the Tatcha, um, the sheets that you can, you know, absorb oil if you're doing your makeup. You know, I just kind of like to blot that and just remove any oil. So I don't really use those too often, but I, I do typically bring them. Okay, the next two items I have here are both full of sunscreen. So that's extremely important that you bring sunscreen with you, even if it's just a short cruise, because if you're going to be outside at all, it's just very important to make sure that you have enough sunscreen. I've definitely gotten burned before because I thought I was good, and it turns out not so much. So um, this one here, I have all the full-size sunscreen. So we, I also have a sun bum here. I think that's going to be SPF 30 as well. So I have a couple lip balms with SPF. I also tend to wear makeup with SPF too, but if you're just at the beach, then I'm not going to be wearing makeup. And then the smaller one here, I have kind of some smaller travel size. A lot of the ones in here are the Kula brand. I got these, I believe, at Ulta, and they came in a set. And they are small travel size, which is nice. Um, this one is a face sunblock, so that's SPF 50. I have another lip balm, and then I do also have um, another one, which is actually the same, same thing. So um, both are 50 SPF for face. So if you were just going on a shorter cruise, you might maybe just bring the smaller one, but I did have them both there. I also have aloe, so as I said, I did get burned pretty bad one time on a cruise. I thought I had enough sunblock on, and I just didn't. So um, with that said, if you do burn, um, this is aloe, and I have it in a smaller container because I didn't want to bring the big, huge container that it, it comes in. For eye makeup, I brought my Naked 3 palette. I found these were just really nice colors that went with everything. It had a really good variety of colors in there. So I brought that palette. I have three of those palettes. I also have the Tarte, I'm not sure, Foil Finger Paint it's called. And I purchased this from Sephora. They no longer have it um, in the store, but I think you can still get it online. But it's just really pretty um, foily colors and glitter that I used a couple times um, on the cruise. And then also for my FabFitFun, I have the Tarte Pro Glow. And this one has, and I did drop it unfortunately, so it's, it doesn't look as pretty as it used to, but um, this is for contouring, which I don't normally do, and also um, just some nice highlight. So I use mostly the highlight. So I did pack that in uh, this size uh, container. All right, so now let's talk about the makeup I brought with me. And I already showed you this earlier, but this is the Joy Mangano Better Beauty case. This is one of the small cases, and I labeled um, each little section here just in case I want to take it off or just so I know where each thing goes because it's easy on a cruise to use something and you put it back in the wrong place and everything is mixed up. So if you label things, it just makes life easier. But let's dive right in and you're going to see I brought a lot of makeup with me, but because they're small travel sizes, it just made it easy to pack and... You know, that way I had options for you know, the fancy evenings. If I wanted to put on makeup, I had plenty of variety of options. So the first um, cube here, I'm just going to take it right off so I can show you. We have eyes. So I have these glitter. They're from Maya, it looks like. Um, I got these at the New York State Fair. So I have a blue glitter. I have kind of a rose gold glitter. I think I had one more that I possibly didn't bring with me. I also had to purchase this glue that mainly, like if you're gonna use it on your body or mainly I use it on my eyes, you just kind of dab the glue where you want it to go and then put the glitter on. I like to be glittery and sparkly, so I use that a couple nights. I may not bring that again with me just because it was kind of annoying to have to put the glue on and then put the glitter. And so what I also have that I got um, during the holidays, holiday makeup is amazing because you get 
a lot of you know smaller size options that usually come with a couple different colors at, at typically a really good price so i got these around the holidays this is stila and then i actually got three of these i'm not sure if i brought them all but you can see it's just kind of a nice white glitter there it comes in lots of different colors so i brought that one and i also had again kind of more of like a goldish one that i brought so i did use those a lot i also have this nars smudge proof eyeshadow base that i got from my sephora play box and so that was really nice to use, especially on the evenings where I you know, really wanted my makeup to stay on. It seemed to work pretty well. Also from Sephora Play, I had received this Buxom um, uh, mascara, so that's a really nice brand. Um, I would buy that in a full size. It's really good. Also, It by by Under Eye. This is a really teeny tiny travel size. I like to use it um, under my eyes and anywhere you might have a blemish or something like that, usually under my makeup. But I do have a larger one too, but the travel size is just so nice. Um, also, Smashbox, um, the Petal Metal Shimmer Drops here. Uh, these can go anywhere on your body. Sometimes I'll just dab a little bit on my eyelids, just give a little sparkle, so I had that. I also think I had two of these. I may have unpacked one already, but Tarte has these um, little pots of like eyeliner, and then I also have an eyeliner brush that I'll show you in just a minute that I used um, as eyeliner. And also, my Sephora uh, Play, uh, once again, great for travel. Uh, came with this benefit, um, you know, for your eyebrows. So I actually purchased a full size one of these. I liked it so much, but I have this little travel size. And then the next one here is going to be, um, I labeled it blush and other because I just had a bunch of other stuff in there. So let's go through here. I have a beauty blender. I got this beauty blender from my FabFitFun box and I have one that I keep um, on my counter to do my makeup every day. And then I have this one to travel. I do need to clean this and then I do have a little bit of um, OPI nail kind of glitter that I didn't use, but I, I thought maybe I would put it on my toes because from the dollar store, I had this one from Wet n Wild. So I used that on my toes and I thought like, hey, if I feel like being extra sparkly, I'll have that glittery one too. And then I also have from Josie Marin, this is a coconut watercolor cheek jelly. This I got on eBay. It's really teeny tiny and I, I really love this product actually, but it's just hard to, to like get your finger in there. So I would you know use one of those maybe kind of scoopers that you can get at Sephora. Um, sometimes they come with certain products, but this color is Pink Escape and it just looks really almost red, but you just use your finger and just kind of dab it on your cheeks or you can even use it on your lips. And I really love this um, quite a bit. So I'll probably get a larger one next time, but this is a really nice travel size. I have two of those. And then um, when it was my birthday, I went to Ulta and they gave me um, the NARS um, for your cheeks here. So that's a really pretty color, has a little shimmer. And so that one, is a nice travel size. Um, I also brought a little flower bomb here um, for perfume. I think I had a couple. Actually, I have a little baggie here of, of some other <laughs> perfume. So um, I have just a couple perfumes, you know, just a couple that I like that I wore in the evening. And here's that little, you know, stick I was talking about there. So you can, you know, scoop in and then you can put a little on your cheek or on your lips. So um, that's what I had in my cheek and other. And then this one here is going to be primer and foundation. I was able to bring a couple of different um, foundations. So Makeup Forever, Ultra HD, uh, this did not come off. It's really good. It was really great for um, pictures for fancy night. I call it fancy night. Um, but yeah, this, this actually had a hard time getting off, but it looked really great. So it was a nice little travel size. And also I had um, complexion primer, um, that I use just more around my nose and I also have the Bare Minerals Bare Pro another like little teeny tiny size there that fit really well um, it SPF 50 this is a your skin but better CC plus cream I love this I have it in a giant size um, the color on this one is light it's actually a little bit dark on me but when I went on the cruise and had a little bit of tan it was a little bit better but um, this is something I use almost every day, and it's nice to have that little travel size that I got from Ulta, and it, it came with something else, so it was just kind of like a kit. Also, I have um, Urban Decay All Nighter. I had just purchased just a slightly larger size of this, and then my Sephora Play, of course, you know, sent me the little travel size. So I've heard of really great things about this brand, and you know, it definitely keeps your makeup on pretty well. 
I also have the Too Faced Hangover uh, Replenishing Face Primer. I love it. It smells like coconut. So that's another just really nice primer, a little teeny tiny size there. Also from Sephora, I have a couple just small um, little sample sizes. So if you just want to sample something or if you have a product that you really like and you don't have a container to put it in, I'm sure you could probably ask for empty ones, but I always just go and say, you know, hey, can I get a sample of this primer or this foundation or this face cream or whatever it may be. So I just have a couple sample um, sizes. All right, my next one is for lips. The label fell off, but what I brought with me is Lip Sense. Now this is something I've seen other cruisers talk about and Lip Sense stays on all day long. You literally put three applications on, you put on the gloss and then it just stays on all day long. It is difficult to get off, but when you buy the set, it, you get the oops remover, so that helps you get it off. You also get a gloss, and I have two different colors. I have cider apple, actually apple cider, and I also have beige champagne, which so far has been my favorite. It's just like a little bit darker. It's a really nice color, um, especially for the fancy evenings. I also have the Bare Minerals lip gloss. It's just a nice pink. It has a little bit of a shimmer to it. I have Tarte H2O gloss, and the color is Getaway. This is my absolute favorite. I love it. It's very shiny. And then if you have dry lips, I found that the best product to use is this Amore Pacific. This is probably my third one, and I think it's about $30. I get it from Sephora, but I cannot live without it, um, especially in the evening. I'll just put it on and it works really well. So that is all the makeup I brought. And then I do also have my makeup brushes. Now I got this brush um, holder from Etsy and I'll try to link it below. It's really nice. And then a lot of the brushes that you see there, um, these are the crown brushes that I got from my FabFitFun. And so I do have a variety of brushes. I even have a pen. So this is really nice um, to make sure all your brushes just stay organized and stay um, neat. And so I pack that um, in with my hair care stuff. Kind of random, but that's where it ended up fitting. So I want to thank you for watching my video. If you liked it or if you found it helpful, please give me a thumbs up. I'm going to be doing a few other packing videos um, for cruises of any length. So please follow me and give me a thumbs up. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time.